What's up, future respiratory therapist? In this video, we're gonna talk all about pressure support. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this, let's dive in. All right, so as I stated, all about pressure support in this video. Before that, head over to respiratorycoach.com, check out the TMC and the CSE boot camps there to aid and assist you in becoming that RRT on your first attempt. If you check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's talk about pressure support. Now, before I uh, get into what you're seeing right here, I'd like to read for you um, the definition of pressure support. This is straight out of Egan's, the 13th edition. Here's what it says. Uh, this is talking about pressure support ventilation, PSV, which is actually a mode, but there's some value in understanding what it says here. It says, a mode of ventilatory support designed to augment spontaneous breathing. Don't forget those words. Augment spontaneous breathing. It is patient triggered, pressure limited, and flow cycled. Those are key things, right? Because patient triggered tells you that the patient is going to initiate the pressure support. That's what trigger means, what begins inspiration. The patient is going to begin this breath and then the pressure support is going to be active. Uh, it also then says pressure limited, which means whatever the pressure support is set on is going to be how much pressure is applied to the patient, not anymore. And then it says flow cycled, which means what turns the pressure support off because obviously you can't exhale against a ventilator who's pushing a, a, a flow of gas into your lungs to maintain a pressure. So something's got to tell the vent to turn off and that is flow, okay? So as the flow, as, as the patient's inspiratory flow slows, so the breath comes in, and as you reach full, your lungs fill, your inspiratory flow slows down. When the ventilator recognizes that to a certain point, it goes, turn the pressure support off because their lungs are almost full and they're about to exhale. So that's kind of some, some key elements of pressure support. Here's what you really want to know. Number one, it overcomes the resistance of the artificial airway during spontaneous breathing. So these patients have a lot of times an endotracheal tube and that endotracheal tube is not large. And that is going to impose resistance onto your patients, which is going to cause them to potentially have an increased work of breathing just because they're breathing through a tiny straw. I mean, not literally a tiny straw, but just something to, to, to illustrate it for you. They're breathing through a small airway. And so you can imagine that could be tiring and taxing on our patients. We don't want that to happen. And so we would provide low levels of pressure support, five to eight centimeters of water pressure to just overcome that resistance imposed by the artificial airway. Now, the second point is, is that when we increase it above eight, so moderate to high levels of pressure support, anything greater than eight, you are now intentionally trying to augment tidal volume. But I need to say this very clearly, augment spontaneous tidal volume. And Egan's actually said that in the definition here, it says to augment spontaneous breathing. Now it says spontaneous breathing, I said spontaneous tidal volume because the word augment means to make larger. And so if you turn the pressure support up on a patient breathing spontaneously, you will see where their tidal volumes will go up. This is going to be extremely helpful, especially when you have that patient who is tachypnic, they're breathing really, really fast, and their spontaneous tidal volumes are very, very small. You say, oh, what can I do for this patient? Oh, maybe you can turn up the pressure support because that will help the tidal volume to go up and they won't have to breathe as fast. So their respiratory rate should, in theory, come down. So we see where it will augment tidal volume. But the most important word in this entire conversation is this, spontaneous. We are overcoming the resistance of the artificial airway when, during, spontaneous ventilation or spontaneous breathing. We are increasing the tidal volume for what type of breath? Spontaneous breaths. Now, if, if, if 
If you haven't had a light bulb moment on this, I hope you have one soon. Because here's an exam tip for you. If you're taking an exam and you have a patient in assist control, if you go back to last week's video, we talked about the difference between assist control or SIMV or and SIMV. Or maybe you say, well, my patient's in CMV. That's fine too. If you're in a mode of mechanical ventilation that does not allow for spontaneous breathing to occur, then pressure support is not the answer. It's not even part of the conversation because in those modes, CMV, C synchronized CMV, assist control, there are no spontaneous breaths. Therefore, you won't even see pressure support as a setting option. So you will only see it as an option to set or to add or to increase if you're in a mode of mechanical ventilation where spontaneous breathing is allowed. SIMV, yes. CPAP, yes. Other advanced modes, yes. Only when spontaneous breathing is allowed. It serves two purposes. Overcome the resistance of the artificial airway and increase or augment tidal volume during spontaneous breathing. That's the need to know information about pressure support. And if you can understand that as a student learning mechanical ventilation, you're in a good spot. All right. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'm Respiratory Coach. Stay here with me on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button if uh, you haven't already. Uh, check out last week's video if you're, if you're confused on AC versus SIMV. Uh, come follow me on all the socials. Don't forget about the TMC and the CSE Bootcamp over there at respiratorycoach.com. And don't forget to check out the shift, the very first ever respiratory care reality show. You can see it right here on the Respiratory Coach YouTube channel. Here's episode one. Check it out and enjoy. And remember, average is easy. Don't be it.